Now, from the Sports Blitz studio, Brandon Jeff and Chris Thomason. All right, welcome back to the Blitz. Okay, we saw a lot of non-district in the last segment. Well, we had a state-ranked, or at least a state-ranked team coming into town here for a district showdown. Oh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing this one between Edna and London. Right? Yeah, I got to see Edna earlier this season against Refurio in a close game. Let's get to the highlight. Pirate Stadium. Now, London already down 14-0 to the Cowboys here in the second. Edna on the move again. Jane Clay going to hit Braylon Harris. And he's going to break a tackle and cut right through London like a hot knife through butter. Wow. Gone. Made it 21 nothing, Pirates. Sorry, Cowboys. And now Edna on the move again. But London's Kyle Carter here coming up with the big sack, trying to keep Edna from patting their lead before the half. Now London trying to get something going before the break. Alexander Manning hitting Aiden Salinas for the first down into Cowboys territory. But, and there's a big but, Manning is going to be picked off wow. by Harris, oh, doing yeah. it on both sides of the ball for Edna. Jimmy Mitchell, I'm sure liking that, heading into the half, going up 21-0. And the Cowboys just keep their foot to the gas from there. Cade Rodas here made it 28-0. All Edna in this one, 35-0. Cowboys emphatic in that man really showing that state ranking Edna did in For that sure. game. All right, let's take a look. The next one is Evernville and Van Ketty. We pick this one up in the third quarter, and Joseph Benavides is gonna run this one on the ground for Hebronville and just keep going. Almost looks like it's, yeah. it almost looks like it's gonna be a touchdown, but it's not. So you're still building up a little bit of momentum here for Santos Canales. Let's see what he can do on the ground and he'll punch this one home to get six points. And so that was a good touchdown for Evansville. Surprised they didn't score on the previous play. Yeah, exactly. That made it, uh, I believe, 26 nothing at That's that right. point. That's right. And so Banchetti trying to get on the board here. And look at that. Adrian Flores to Josh Jimenez. So able to get something going here. And then Banchetti again. Now they will get on the board with this one. Flores to Jimenez made it 26 to, or excuse me, Nate Gomez got the touchdown in that play. And 26 to 7 is the score. And so now. Evernville getting in. Evernville getting in. And going on to win. And going on, final score 41 to 7. All right, let's get to non district action. St. John Paul II hosting Agua Dulce coming to town tonight. The Longhorns making their way over about 40 minutes or so. Here, early on, Armando Rivetta with the handoff to Zach Martinez, the nice first down run for the Centurions. But uh, this is not good for John Paul. Centurions going to put the ball on the carpet, and the Longhorns recover. So now Agua Dulce trying to capitalize and capitalize they do here. The Longhorns going to go the distance, be the ball. Seven, <laughs> nothing. Agua Dulce taking the lead on the road. Now, John Paul, they, Agua Dulce would punt this ball and get it at the half yard line. John Paul had worked it out a little bit, a few yards, but that's not good. Uh, the Longhorns with the sack. Centurions just barely avoid the safety, but this one was all Agua Dulce in this one. 29-14, Longhorns get the dub. There we go, good win for the Longhorns. And now let's go to six man. This is in Carnot Word Academy and Arlington Heights. We pick this one up with Ryan Trevino with the nice pass to Christopher Newcomer. Getting something done in the middle of the field. Incarnate Word, that was Arlington Heights, but Incarnate yeah. Word will. Wait for it. And we're going to get there. I promise. All right, now Incarnate Word will take the ball to themselves. The toss to Ben Petrick Jr., and that was a touchdown for Incarnate Word. So, 6 0 at this point. Arlington Heights trying to get something going here through the air. Ryan Trevino with another pass to Christopher Newcomer. So those two building up a little bit of chemistry in this game. Yep. And then Ryan Trevino, after they talk it over, Ryan Trevino is going to do it. 
A little Kids. trickeration so, here. So, oh my goodness. A little bit of a juke. Kind of looked like a Madden, little Madden move right there. Took a little hit at the end of it, though. And a little bit, but he got up after gaining a few yards. And IWA fans, you know, this is only their second ever home game. We were there for the debut last week as well. Yeah, and so obviously really exciting open field right here in six-man football like we have seen Damian Salazar dodging all the defenders to get into the end zone. 54 to 6 with the final score here. And Karna Worth putting up the big points this season. Yeah, so the Angels now a perfect 2-0 uh, at home. Uh, and, you know, they've looked pretty good for a program that, you know, we talked to Coach Alleman last week. They literally just started this year. Yeah, it's it's honestly kind of hard to believe just based on how much chemistry it seems like these guys already have. You'd yeah. imagine they've probably been playing already. So now that their school has a team, it's time for them to actually put those talents on display. Exactly. Pretty cool to see there. All right, let's take a listen to the Kingsville King Marching Band. Take a look at your scores.